Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today still a while for we are playing some more out of the park baseball 22 with my Montreal Expos historical play. Alright folks we're on a little bit of a losing streak right now so we've lost our last four games so we lost the last game of the series against the Mets and then we got swept by the Pirates at home and it was not pretty it kind of put a magnifying glass on our pitching which is really bad uh, our offense has also struggled although our offense you know has been okay for the most part if you put it overall for the season so yeah we're kind of on a skid right now and today we're taking on the Phillies. Now the Phillies, we uh, I'm pretty sure I have swept a three game series against them earlier this season. And the Phillies are not all that great. They are 21 and 46. So I'm hoping that we can probably sweep them or at least take two out of three from them. Hopefully the skid stops. Uh, we also are going to eventually see Willie Green and Randy Tomlin come in. Uh, they're doing their rehab assignment right now, so I don't know when the computer is going to give them back to me, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> so also at the, at the end of the last episode, uh, with the with viewer Jiro Nullet, we uh, looked at the lineup and we made some changes to the lineup against lefties here so we're gonna go ahead and see if that's going to help so we, we've dropped the shields to seventh and we've moved barbary to second so we're hoping that we're gonna see a little bit more offense against lefties using that lineup and i pulled and that was discussed with Jerome Nallet as well, but that's something that I was going to do anyway. Uh, ben Van Ryan has been pulled off of the starting rotation because he was atrocious. Um, so he's going to be used in mostly long relief. And I'm going to give the starts as a fifth starter to Gabe White instead and see what he can do. So he's been pitching okay in relief. We can see his stats here. Uh, 3.05 ERA, 7 walks, 23 strikeouts, so that's not too shabby, so we're going to go ahead and see what he can do, but today the start is going to go to Miguel Batista. Alright, so we're going to be facing the Phillies, like I said, and the Ashby is going to be their uh, pitch, starting pitcher. Now, uh, it was mentioned in a couple of my other streams before, uh, and the Ashby threw a no-hitter against me last season. That wasn't on camera or anything. I didn't record it. Uh, I was playing by and for myself. But yeah, Andy Ashby did throw a no hitter against me last year. That was the first time since playing all of the park baseball nine that I had seen a no hitter for either team while I was playing out the game. Yeah, I'm gonna need some more liquids before the end of that stream all right so let's take a look at the phillies see what's going on over there so pete and caviglia is hurt so he's not gonna be playing oh yeah the fractured ankle so he hasn't played this year so far and jolbert cabrera whom we sent in a trade i guess because he was in my what happened I guess we just didn't resign him and he signed with. Uh, oh no, okay, it's a, it was traded by the Expos. Oh yeah, it was in the Terry Mulholland trade. What a, what a bad trade. We didn't. If we would have kept Mulholland, that would have been a good trade, but we lost Kirk Reader in that, uh, in that trade too. All right, so I think we're good here. So let's go ahead and get this party started. All right, so we're off a day off. I'm still going to go ahead and um, use a couple um, a couple subs for that game. So the Phillies are going to go... Uh, no, let's do the, the 
let's do the changes first. So I'm gonna give Tony Pena a start. I don't want to try Johnny Knot at third again. He made three errors in a start last time out, so let's let's put Lance Blankenship there. He's usually pretty reliable defensively. And then I'm gonna put Todd Aini at short. So yeah, I'm gonna use three subs. I know it's very uncharacteristic after a day off and everything. I'm trying to shake things up. We uh we are on a skid, and I want to shake things up. Alrighty, so we have, we are going to be facing Kevin Stalker, Mickey Marandini, Eddie Rios, Al Martin, Tom Evans, Darren Fletcher, Vladimir Guerrero, oh, Vlad is a Philly, oh, and then West Chamberlain. Yeah, he's not quite developed yet, Oh, Vladimir Guerrero with the Phillies. That hurts my my Expo fan heart. All right. So we're playing at home again. Hopefully that's going to go better than the series against the Pirates. That was one heck of a disaster there. Uh, we're starting with our top of the rotation. So hopefully we can do something. Um, but yeah. So... Well, let's go expose and play ball, play ball, play ball, whatever. All right, 1-0 oh to Kevin Stalker. Yeah, we swept the Phillies. It was in the Tex. We're 3-0 oh against them this season. That's what I thought. All right. Oh, Calderon with the... With the Uber play right there to start the game. He robs Kevin Stalker of an extra base hit. And there's one out. Mickey Marandini, one and two. And he strikes out. Two outs. That brings up Eddie Rios. One and two to Rios. That's it weekly. Calderon after it. And he's out. So the Phillies go down one, two, three. Including one incredible catch by Ivan Calderon, the MVP candidate. Alright, so Ashby, what are his stats? Six and six. Okay, he doesn't walk many batters. But he does give up quite a few hits here and there. Alright. Alright, so the Shields is going to be batting first here. Full count to the shields to start our own end of the first inning. Oh, that's it weekly to the pitcher. And he's out. Grissom is next. One and two to Grissom. Oh, you should have swung, buddy. All right, so you say he tried to hold up, but it was in the middle of the plate, so that's a strikeout. All right, Ivan Calderon is next. One and one to Calderon. That's it to short. And he's out. Alright, so we go down one, two, three as well. Alright, the next batter is gonna be Al Martin. He has decent ratings. I guess he has okay stats. One and two to Al Martin. Oh, when he struck out looking. One out. Tom Evans is next. One and one to Evans. That's it weekly to center. That's gonna fall in. That's a hit. Alright, so a single for Evans. So now there's one out. Run around first for Darren Fletcher. Former Montreal Expo in real life. And that's a hit. Opposite field hit. So now there's runners on first and second with one out. Vladimir Guerrero, the ever dangerous. Vladimir Guerrero is at bat. One and two. And he struck out swinging. That's good. 
And West Chamberlain is next with two outs now, one and one. That's it to first Doran with the pickup, and he's out. All right, so we gave up two hits, but we managed to get out of the inning unskated. So there, it's no score, so. Mark Witten is next, one and two to Witten. Grounds it to short, and he's out, one out. Bill Doran is the next batter, three and one to Doran. That's it weekly to center. Al Martin after it, and he catches it. Two outs. Todd Haney is next. No count to Haney. That's it right in the first baseman's hands, and we're done. All right, Andy Ashby is going to be the batter now. 0-1. That's it to first. Doran with a pickup. He's out. One out. Kevin Stalker is next, got robbed in the first inning. One and two to Stalker. It's it to right, Withen goes for it. And he catches it for the second out. That brings up Mickey Morandini. One and oh. Grounds it to second, the shields with the pickup, and the inning is over. <sighs> All right. Let's see if we can uh, wake up here. See if the bottom of the lineup can do something for us. One and two to Blankenship. That's it to short. And he's out. One out. Tony Pena is next. One and oh to Pena. That's it weekly to the catcher. And he's out. One out. Uh, two outs, sorry. All right, Miguel Batista is next. 1 and 0. Oh. That's it down the line in right field for extra bases for Miguel Batista. Wow, he's been pretty good with the bat lately. He had a home run not too long ago, too. All right, so Batista gets a double. All right, so we have a runner in scoring position. Denai with the Shields is the batter now with two outs. 1 and 1 to the Shields. That's it to left. And that falls in. Batista's going, and he scores. The Expos take a 1-0 lead, something that has not happened against the Pittsburgh Pirates. We fell behind in every single of those games, and we managed to lose them. Scoring the first run is very important quite often. Not always, but... Alright, so the Shields at first, two outs. Grissom is the batter now, no count. Oh god, the Shields is going. And he's safe, 26th. Stolen base for him. Okay. One and one to Grissom. It's it weekly to right. Yeah, and he's out. This is pretty good. All right. Right, so the Expos take a one nothing lead. We're now in the top of the fourth with Eddie Rios, the batter. Triano. And he walks. All right, so first batter gets on base. That brings up Al Martin. 1-0. and oh. That's it to second. Uh, we are, we're not going for the double play. We just got Martin at first. So the runner gets to second on the play. There's one out now for Tom Evans. No count on Evans. It's at weekly. Brand can chip after it, and he gets it for the second out. The runner cannot move because it wasn't it very deep. So there's two outs now for Darren Fletcher. No count. That's it to first. Doran to Batista. And we get out of the inning. So the lead batter walks, but nothing else happens on the play, and we are still up 1 0. Ivan Calderon is the batter now. Full count to Calderon. And that's it to second. And he's out. I guess looks like Calderon is starting to uh, decline uh, during the season. So I've been saying for a long time that he's going to be regressing. Looks like it's happening now. He hasn't had a good series against the Pirates either. Mark Witten is next. Two and two. And he strikes out swinging. That's two outs now for us in the bottom of the fourth. Billy Doran is next. No count to Doran. 
That's it weekly to center. Al Martin after it, and he catches it for the third out. All right, Vladimir Guerrero is the first one to face Batista in the top of the fifth. Two and two to Guerrero. And he struck out looking. West Chamberlain is next. 0 and 1 to Chamberlain. That's a two right center. Center right. Grissom after it. Catches it for the second out. And the Ashby is next. Full count to Ashby. And he struck out swinging. And the Phillies are done in the fifth. Just like that. Just like that. Hey, Tadini is going to be first battery in the bottom of the fifth for us. 1 and 0. Oh. And that's it. Safely in left. All right, so Annie gets us started with a with a single ear. That brings up Blankenship with a run around first, nobody out. No count on Blankenship and he bunts with a he bunts a pitch that was behind his head and he's safe. <laughs> What a weird play, but I will take it. All right. So we have runners on first and second. Nobody out. This is a prime opportunity to score some runs. Tony Pena, Mr. I want to be in the starting lineup every day, is at bat now. One and two. And that's it to left. Not deep enough to advance the runners. So runners on first and second now with one out. Batista is the batter. And he bunts. Also, with the, what he, the, with the way he's been handling the bat lately, he probably should have swung. But anyway. Alright, so we have runners on second and third now with two outs. The Shields is the batter. He already has an RBI. Two and two. That's it weekly to short. And the Shields is out. So we had a runner on first and second with no outs, and we couldn't score anybody so it is still one nothing expos here in the top of the sixth right, kevin stalker is the first batter here three and one to him and he walks all right so we get the lead runner on base or the lead batter on base again now mickey morandini is next one and one tries to bunt but he misses so it's one and two now So we had a pitch out for Kevin Stalker and we didn't even attempt to pitch and that guy wants to play every day. Alright, so runner on second, now nobody out. Two and two to Marandini. It's it to second and he's out. Runner advances to third on the play, of course. Eddie Rios is next. No count on Rios. That's it. Oh, that's it safely. So that's going to tie the game and it's going to be extra bases. Calderon after it. Magic trick through the wall. And it's a double. All right. So runner on second. One out for Al Martin. No count. And we're going to be uh, walking in. Probably not a bad idea. Tom Evans is next with one out. Now we have the double play in action. 0 and 1. It's to first. And that is. Oh, that's not a double play. So he beats up out the throw. So we get the runner at second. But Evans is safe at first. Now, there, now there's runners on first and third with two outs for Darren Fletcher. 2 and 0. Oh. And that's it weekly. And. And he gets it for the third out. But the Phillies tie the game, so it is now tied at one here in the bottom of the six. We have our good bats coming. Hopefully we can take the lead back. All right, no count to Grissom. That's it to right. Not very deep. And it is cut by Guerrero. One out. Ivan Calderon is next. He's 0 for 2. 0 and 1. That's it weekly to right. Guerrero after it again. And he catches it for the second out. Mark Witten is next. 
one and two to hard heading Mark Witten. And he struck out looking. Not a good game for Witten there. Right, Guerrero is the batter now, no count. That's it weekly. Grissom after it. And he catches it. One out. West Chamberlain is next, one and one. Ooh, that's well it to center here. That's gonna be extra bases. Alright, so Chamberlain gets a double. Andy Ashby is the batter. Runner on second, one out, one and two. Oh, we drilled Andy Ashby. That's not good. That's not good. All right, Kevin Stalker is next. Runners on first and second, one out, one and two. Oh, what a bad pitch to swing at. All right, so he struck out swinging. There's two outs now, and Morandini's gonna be the batter, one and one. That's it right at the shields, and he's out. All right, Billy Doran gets us started here in the bottom of the seventh. I would like to get a few runs, please. Three and one. That's it. That's that's a hit. And that's sometimes how it starts is with a little bloop like that. All right. So we have a runner on first, nobody out. Todd Ainey is the batter, one and zero. Oh. He tries to bunt and he misses. One and one. All right. So one and two now. And he struck out swinging. That wasn't pretty. Lance Blankenship is next, 0-2, and, and he gets drilled, oh, and the Ashby here gets his revenge. Alright, so we have runners on first and second, one out for Tony Pena, Th oh, 3-0, and, oh. and he walks him, so now the bases are juiced with one out, yeah, I think I'm gonna... I wanted to keep Betsista in, but uh, it's a prime opportunity here, so we're gonna go with Probably Brit Barbary. Alright, so Barbary comes in as a pinch hitter with the bases loaded and one out here in the bottom of the seven. It's tied at one. One and oh to Barbary. That, oh dear god. And he popped it out to the catcher in foul territory. There's two outs now. We need a hit from the line of the shields. Full count to the shields. That's oh, that's a it. That's well it in the corner. That's extra bases. We're scoring at least two on that, maybe three. Yeah, EMT the bases. It is now four one, and they keep Andy Ashby in the game. So the Expos take a four one lead here with a. Uh, base clearing double by the shields the shields produced all of our point runs in this game by the way right, so grissom comes in full count to grissom and he walks so now we have speed on first and second with two outs and ivan calderon is the batter oh and one that's it two shortstop and they throw to second for the out but we scored three runs thanks to the line of the shields. Oh, I see Essie stretching in the back. Yeah, my bed is not quite made. I have two cats on it that were sleeping. So I didn't want to wake them up. Alright, I'm gonna bring there as. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so Eddie Rios first here in the eight for the Phillies. One and two. 
so I've brought Deb a little bit more as a um, setup guy right now that I sometimes will use as a long reliever. He has a little bit of stamina, but not that much. Alright, and the whole reason that it was him that I picked it was to face Al Martin. We can see his ratings are really not as good against lefties. So there's a runner on first because Rios singled. Nobody out. 2-0 to Al Martin. Oh dear god. Alright, so that's that swung right on the fence. Oh boy. My pitching, folks. My pitching. It doesn't matter what I try. Alright, so runners on second and third after Al Martin's double. Nobody out. Tom Evans. I'm gonna bring John Doris. I really wish I still had Jeff Facero, but he's been buried in the minors. Alright, oh and one to Evans. That's it. And the game is tied. Evans with a three run blast. It is now 4 4. I cannot have good things. I cannot have nice things, folks. I cannot. Not with, the, not with that pitching stuff. No, I cannot. Alright, Darren Fletcher is next. 2 0 oh to Darren Fletcher. That's it to right with and after it. Catches it for the first out. So finally, we. Got somebody out here in the eight. Vladimir Guerrero is next. No count on Guerrero. That's it to center. Grissom after it. And he catches it near the warning track. Two outs. West Chamberlain is next. 0 oh, 2 to Chamberlain. That's a little bloop that's going to fall in for a hit here. They're probably going to bring in a pinch hitter now. And they do. It is Luis Medina. Run around first two outs. One and two to Medina. Grounds it too short. And there's a uh, does there's an error. Alright. Kevin Stalker is next. No count on Stalker. And that's it to left. Calderon after it. Alright. So it's tied at four thanks to the three run three run blast by Tom Evans. And now the Phillies bring in Bill Swift to face off against Mark Whitten in the bottom of the eighth. Hit weekly to third. And he's out. Billy Doran is next. Full count to Doran. That's it to left. Chamberlain gets it. Two outs. Todd Aney is next. One and two to Todd Aney. <clears throat> and he's out. Oh boy. Uh, who do I bring now? I think we're going to bring Kerrigan in. Alright, so uh, Kerrigan is going to face Morandini in the top of the ninth. Full count. Hit weekly to short. Any save on an infield single. Eddie Rios is next. 0 and 1. Hits it to short. That's a double play. There you go. That's more like it. Double play, and now there's two outs for Al Martin. 0 and 1. It's a weekly to center. Grissom after it. All right. Still tied at four, and we're going in the bottom of the ninth. And Mitch Williams. Oh, good old Mitch Williams is going to be the pitcher for the. Phillies here, so we're gonna we're gonna have Lance Blankenship batting first here in the ninth. One and one to Blankenship. 
gets it to first. And he's out. One out. Ruben Rivera to it for Tony Pena. All right, no count on Rivera. That's it to right. Oh, it's caught by Vladimir Guerrero. Two outs. use Johnny Knot as a pinch hitter only. One and two. And he struck out swinging. Okay. Alright, so... Hey, Ludwig. Yeah, go expose. As usual, it is a struggle. I don't have the pitching. All right, let's go ahead and... I guess I'm going to go with Ben Van Ryn in long relief here. See if he can do better than he did as a starter. All right, top of the tent. Tom Evans, who tied the game in the eight with a three-run blast against Ben Van Ryn, two and one. That's a two center go Grissom. Yes, one out. Darren Fletcher is next. One and two to Fletcher. Oh, that's a strikeout. That's a tough strikeout. That pitch was high. All right, and Guerrero is next, two and one. That's it weekly. Grissom after it, and he catches it. All right, the Phillies are down, one, two, three, here in the top of the tent. Oh, the Phillies are gonna go for it with another inning of Mitch Williams. All right, the Shields, the batter, one and two. My, the lineup flips over. That's it weekly, and it falls in. A bloop for a hit. All right, Gr Grissom's coming to bat with a runner on first that has speed in the shields. All right. One and oh. That's, oh, no, 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 that's not good. All right, they only get the lead runner, thankfully. That had double play written on it, but they only get the lead runner. So R Grissom is at first. There's one out. Now they're bringing in Paul Gibson to face Ivan Calderon. Oh, Grissom's going, and he's safe. That is 39 steals for Grissom this season. 2-0 for Calderon. I just need a hit at this point. That's not a hit. That's so that's a fly ball to right on the play. Grissom gets to third, but there's two outs now. So we need a hit from Mark Witten, who's had a tough day at the play today. He's 0 for 4. 2 and 2. That's it right at the shortstop. And we cannot score in the bottom of the tent. All right, Van Ryan is going to pitch some more. Uh... West Chamberlain is the batter now, two and two. Oh, that's well it. That's extra bases. Right at the Budweiser sign. Alright, so the Phillies get a runner on second to start the 11th inning. That brings in Sil Campusano. Go and two to Campusano. And he struck out swinging. Oh, yeah. Cameron Stalker is next. Two and two. That's it weekly to second. And no true. 
Infield single. Oh boy. Runners on first and third. One out. Miki Morandini is the batter now. Two and two to Morandini. Oh, we struck out looking. That's good. Alright, can can Ben Van Ryan get out of this jam on his own? One and two. And that's it weekly. Calderon after it. Oh yeah. Alright, the 11th is over. We are still tied at four. Alright, Paul Gibson is still the pitcher for the Phillies. We are going with Billy Doran. 1 and 0 to Doran. Oh, that's well it. Oh yes. All the way to the to the fence. That's a double for Doran. Alright, so that's a prime opportunity here. Todd Ainey is next. Now his ratings are not all that great, but I just need a hit. 0 and 1. That's it. Oh god. The runner doesn't advance on that. It was it right at the shortstop. One out. Blankenship is next. 3 and 1. And he walks. Alright, so it is a double play situation but we have runners on first and second with one out charles johnson is the batter came in in after i subbed for tony pena full count to charles johnson and he walks as well all right so bases are juiced one out and i have one pinch hitter left which is ray sanchez not the greatest bat we have Still better than the pitcher, though. All right, so all right, just a deep fly ball, and we're we're good. No count. Oh no! All right, so it was it to second. They got the lead runner at home, but they couldn't get the double play. So bases are still juiced, but there's two outs now. We need some more heroics from the line of the shields. He has produced all of our runs this game so far. Come on, Delano, you've you still got it. Oh, and two, yikes! And he struck out swinging. Oh my God! <laughs> oh. All right, I guess we're gonna bring the old arm of Rick Mahler. Right, Al Martin is the first one to face him in the 12th. One and one to Al Martin. Oh, goodbye baseball. All right, so the Phillies take the lead 5-4 in the top of the 12th. I can't have nice things. I need better pitchers. All right, so... Tom Evans is now the batter, three and one. All right, that's it weekly. Grissom after it, and he catches it for the first out. Darren Fletcher is next, two and zero oh to Darren Fletcher. That's it. Oh, that's. Yep, yeah, it is game one. I had a nice 4-1 lead going into the 8, and then my relief, of course, blew it with a 3-run three, three blast, and now the Phillies just took the lead 5-4 in the 12th inning. Scott Rowland, look at that. Scott Rowland with the Phillies here. Uh, runner on second, one out. We're just going to walk him. West Chamberlain is next. A little double play here would be pretty nice. Thank you. Thank you. I asked for it and I got it. Now I just need for somebody to leave a few golden bullions on my front porch and I'm going to be set. All right. I'm all out of pinch hitters, so we are going with what we have. All right, so Calvin Maduro is going to be the pitcher now. Marquise Grissom uh, gets us started in the bottom of the 12. At least we have our best hitters coming. 
That would be a combination of John De and John Doris, both of them. I brought De to pitch against lefties and he screwed up and then I, I brought in Doris and he's the one that actually allowed the home run but there were already two guys on base thanks to DF before him. Alright, so Grissom gets on base. 2-0 to Calderon. That's Oh, that's a hit. Calderon finally woke up this game. Alright, alright. So we have runners on first and second with nobody out. So with a triple or a double, yeah, I might win. There's still no outs. Art in Mark Witten is gonna be the batter. One and one. He's had a really tough game. And now he comes through with a hit. And we tie the game in the bottom of the 12th. It is now 5-5. Five, five. Wow, that's a that's a pretty wild game. Now we just need a hit from Billy Darren, and that's gonna be a win. O N one. Oh yeah! Woohoo! All right, so, so we overcome the weakness of our bullpen, and we managed to win. Look at that! <laughs> the Feliz catcher is just staying there in the middle of everybody, and they're all like staying, staring at him, like we're gonna beat you. Get out of here! <laughs> What a game. That was pretty cool. All right, so I use all of my pinch hitters and everything in that game. So Rick Mahler allows the the home run, but he gets the win nonetheless. So pretty good. Even Van Ryan didn't pitch too, too badly there. He did give up two hits, but he did strike out three guys too. So Ben Van Ryan might have been better suited for the for the bullpen at this point. All right, so we take game one against the Phillies, 6-5. Billy Daran with some heroics there. All right, let's go ahead and advance this. I did not have freed. Oh, there's been... Okay. Oh, so the owner of the Angels died. Brent Fitzpatrick died. So now his son takes over. It doesn't... It doesn't affect me, per se, but that's kind of cool. He is so to be... Understanding character with a fiscal personality of charitable. Wow, so the angels are gonna get some money, huh? Alright, so next game is gonna be against Tommy Green. Now, Tommy Green has been struggling a little bit this season. He struggled last year as well. He was pretty good the first two seasons, as I remember it. But last year was a little tough for him. It's not starting all that great for him gonna face well luckily for him he's facing oil can Boyd for whom it always seems like a struggle um, all right so that's a double U so that's good um, I'm going to go get something to drink real quick and then I'll be right back we're gonna do game two hopefully we win that one as well the Phillies are really bad this season so those are easy wins so i'll be right back give me a couple minutes here
All right, we are back. Well, we I say we, I mean me, I am back. All right, so let's see if we can take game two. So I'm gonna go with this lineup here. I'm gonna keep everybody. All right, uh, the Phillies are gonna go with Kevin Stucker, Mickey Marandini, Eddie Rios, Al Martin, Tom Evans, Darren Fletcher, Vladimir Guerrero, and Wes Chamberlain. That's the exact same lineup that they sent in the first game. All right. So play ball. Still playing at Olympic Stadium, of course. All right, so Kevin Stucker is going to be the first batter here to face Oil Can Boyd. No count to him. I have won every single game against the Phillies this year. I wish I could play them more. And Stalker grounds out to short to start the game. One out. Mickey Marandini is next. 0-1 to Marandini. Grounds it to second. And he's out. Eddie Rios is next. No count on Rios. Right at the shields, and the inning is over, so the Phillies go down one, two, three. Now we're gonna have the line with the shields to get us started here against Tommy Green. So I looked at his stats, it's uh, it's been a little tough for him. One and oh, oh, the shields attempts to bunt himself on base, but that didn't work out very well. The Montreal manager comes out to argue. I come out to argue the call. No, I, I don't. He was out by about seven miles, at least from the graphic representation. Right, Grissom is next. Oh, went to Grissom. That's it to third. Oh, and then he drops it. Oh, it's counted as a an infield hit. All right, we'll take it. I think Grissom is going, and he is. And he's safe. That's 40 say uh, 40 steals. Sorry for Grissom here. He's at second now. Count around the batter, of course. One and two. It's it to short. And he's out. Two outs. All right, we need a hit by hard hit and Mark Witten now. Three and one. And he walks. Charles Johnson is next. Two and two to Johnson. That's it, but not very well. Should be out. Al Martin gets it, and we are da done. All right. Al Martin is the first batter in the second inning. One and one. That's it pretty well. Well, pretty well as in that's it, not as in, you know, down the line in the corner for extra bases. So Al Martin's on first with nobody out. Tom Evans, who basically forced extra innings in the previous game, is next. Two and one. Calderon gets it. It was it with a bit of power there, but Calderon was able to catch that. So there's one out. Darren Fletcher is the batter. That's a pretty ideal double play situation. Fletcher shouldn't be a very fast runner. Two and two. It's a two left to Calderon. There's two outs now. And Vladimir Guerrero. That breaks my art. He's not on the Expos. Two and two. It's at weekly to third, and he's safe. Oh, couldn't, uh, he's beat the throw. So now there's runners on first and second with two outs. West Chamberlain is the batter. Oh, and two to Chamberlain. All right, Grissom after it, and he's out. All right, he didn't score either. Hey, Captain Phil, welcome aboard. I saw that you 
I saw you joined sometime yesterday uh, while I was offline, so welcome. Welcome with uh, the group. Hopefully you you have some fun here. And if you have suggestions on things to do while I'm playing, feel free. I'm always all the ears. All right, so bottom of the second ear, uh, Brett Barbary is gonna be the next batter. One and one. Oh, that's it. Opposite field it here. All right, so Barbary gets on base, and now we have a runner on first for Billy Doran. Two and zero to Billy. Oh, oh, that's that's gonna be an error. So Rios with the error. So now we have two runners on with nobody out. Ray Sanchez is gonna be the batter next. One and two. That's it weekly. And they get Sanchez at first, but they don't throw any of the other runners out. So now we have runners on second and third with one out. And Oil Ken Boyd is the hitter. He has a home run already this season. So we can always hope and dream. One and two. And he strikes out swinging. Alright, so we're gonna need some uh, some form of it by the line of the shields here. Oh and two. And he struck out swinging. Darn. That didn't go very good. Yeah, it looked like we were we were gonna be able to do some damage, but we just couldn't. No Nobody came in clutch for us. All right, Tommy Green is going to be the... Oh, Tommy Green is, has... I mean, for a pitcher, they, don't get me wrong, for a pitcher, he has decent hitting ratings. He's also hitting 273 for on the season. So, not an automatic out, although he did strike out swinging this time. So there's one out here in the top of the third. Kevin Stalker is next. One and two. It's it to third, Barbary with the throw, and he's out. Two outs. That brings up Mickey Morandini. Oh, and two to Morandini. And he struck out swinging. <sighs> the Phillies go down one, two, three. That's the bottom of the third. And we're gonna have Marquis Grissom as our first batter. Getting into the meat of the lineup, hopefully I can get something going here. Full count. Grounds it to second, and he's out pretty easily. That brings up Ivan Calderon. Two and two to Calderon. That's it to right, it's gonna fall in for a hit. All right, so Calderon has been struggling a little bit more lately, but that's a hit. So we have a runner on first for hard-hidden Mark Witten. Come on, man. Calderon's going. And he's saved. That's 20 stolen bases for Calderon this season. All right, and now he's in scoring position. Two and two to Witten. That's a hit to center. Calderon should score on that. And he does. And on the play, Mark Witten gets to second base, and the Expos, for a second game in a row, take the lead 1 0 here in the third inning. All right, that brings up Charles Johnson, 3 and 1, and he walks. Awesome. So we have two runners on with one out. Of course, now the double play is enacted. That brings Brett Barbary to the plate, 2 and 2. That's it to center. Oh, that's a hit. That's pretty well hit right above Al Martin's head. That's a double for Brett Barbary. Now, if you're new to my series, Brett Barbary develop. Uh, I don't use recalc, so Brett Barbary develop as a pretty decent player in my universe. So I know in real life he was more of a bench player, but uh, he's been pretty all right for me so far. All right, so that's oh, there's only one run that scored. Sometimes I can't see with the the angles. So I, uh, to me, it looked like two runs would score, but only one did. So it's two nothing for the Expos now. That brings in Billy Doran to the plate with a runner on second and third. Uh, is it? Uh, I don't think that's gonna be deep enough. 
Oh, he's going. He's going. And he's safe. It is now 3 0. It was deep enough. That's a sacrifice fly for Billy Doran. And the Expos are up 3 0. Ray Sanchez is next. There's two outs now, too, with a runner on second base. Are they going to walk in? Nah. And it's a grounder to short, and the inning is over, but the Expos strike three times, and they take a 3 nothing lead here at Olympic Stadium. All right, Eddie Rios is going to be the next batter. 0-1. Oh, That's it to third. Barbary with the throw. And he's out. One out. Al Martin is the next batter. One and two to Al Martin. Oh, that's well it. And that's well out of here. It is three to one. Al Martin with the blast here. Solo blast for the Phillies. They now get on board. But we still have a two run lead. Tom Evans is going to be next. Two and two to Evans. That's it to right, with an after with an after it, and he catches it for the second out. Darren Fletcher is now the batter. One and two to Darren Fletcher, and he's thrown out after a grounder to second. But the Phillies get on board with a solo blast by Al Martin, and it is now three to one for the Expos here, going into the bottom of the fourth inning. Right, Oil Can Boyd is going to be our first batter to start the fourth. No count on him. That's it. Well, it was it with a little bit of force there, but it was right at the first baseman, so he's out. And the line the Shields is next. Uh, the Shields needs a few hits here to raise the batting average. 260 is a low, low. Especially to be a leadoff lead lead hitter in the 90s. And he grounds it to short, and he's out. That's two outs now. Marquis Grissom is next. No count on Marquis. Grounds it to short, and he's out. All right, top of the fifth air. So far, so good for Oil Can Boy. He did give up that uh, one blast, but so far, that's not a terrible start, which is something we haven't been able to say very often about him this season. One and two. And he strikes out swinging. That was Vladimir Guerrero, by the way. All right, Wes Chamberlain is next. One and one to Chamberlain. It's it to third. And he's out. Good throw by Barbary. Tommy Green. Two outs, one and two. And he struck out looking. So the Phillies go down one, two, three. And Ivan Calderon is going to be the first batter here in the fifth for us. One and two to Calderon. That's it, too short. And he's out. One out. Mark within his next one and oh, that's it to short as well, and he's out as well. Two outs already for the Expos. Charles Johnson is next, three and oh to Johnson, and he walks. So after two outs, the Expos get a runner on base, and that brings up Brett Barbary. He's two for two with a RBI this game, no count to Barbary. Oh, oh! they tried to pick Charles Johnson off, and that ends up being an error. So Johnson is now on second base. One and two to Barbary. Oh, he struck out looking. I don't like that. I don't like uh, players that strike out looking with runners in scoring position. Oh, that's, that's not good. At least swing. Swing at it. All right, um, let's see. All right, so Oil Can Boyd is so good. He, he pitched 67 pitches. Kevin Stalker is the next batter. No count on Stalker. Grounds it to first. 
and save. Ah. Alright, infield single for Kevin Stalker. That brings up Mickey Morandini with nobody out. Two and two. That's it weekly to left, and it falls in front of Calderon. So all of a sudden, there's two runners on with nobody out. Eddie Rios is the batter, 0 and 1. That's it to first. That's a double play, folks. So all of a sudden, there's two outs, but there's a runner on third here. So with a hit, Al Martin is going to score a run. But at least uh, there's no sack fly situation here. 0 and 2 to Al Martin. He already homered, but this time he struck out swinging. All right, so it looked like we were going to get into trouble, but we got out of it pretty good. And we didn't allow a single run here. All right, so Tommy Green is still pitching for the Phillies, and now Billy Doran is going to be our batter. No count on Doran. It's it to center. It's a hit. Not a very strong one, but it fell. That's what matters. So we have a single to start the sixth. Ray Sanchez is next. 0-1. Oh, Oh, Doran is going. Yeah, he's out. Ray Sanchez is next. Two and one. That was it right on the third base line. And it's cut and he's thrown out at first. Uh, I guess I'm going to keep Oil Can Boyd. Two and two. To Oil Can. And he struck out swinging. All right. Let's see if uh, let's see if uh, Boyd has one more inning in him. Top of the seventh. Tom Evans is the batter. Three one exposed still. Two and two, and he strikes out swinging. Wow. That is six strikeouts for Oil Ken Boyd in that game. Darren Fletcher is not a batter. One and two. That's it to second. The Shields with the throw, and he's out for the second out of the inning. And now Vladimir Guerrero is next. No count. And Grissom is after it. And he catches it. Phillies go down 1 2 3. It is 3 1 for the Expos in the bottom of the seventh. And we have the top of the lineup coming in. It is still Tommy Green pitching for the Phillies. 2 and 2 to the Shields. And he struck out looking. One out. Marquise Grissom is next. Full count. And he walks. All right. Now we have Calderon at bat. No count. Grissom is going. And he saved 41 steals for Marquise Grissom this season. Oh, and to, to Calderon. Oh, he struck out swinging. Yeah, Calderon is starting. I've, Like I said, you know, I've been saying that he's going to start regressing eventually. It, that The regression has started. Regression to a little bit more of a nor, quote-unquote normal season. Mark Witten is next 2-1. and one. That's it weekly to the pitcher. Oh, that's an infield uh, single. Now Grissom's at third. We have runners on first and third with two outs. Uh, it by Charles Johnson would definitely score a run here. 0 and 1. Oh, that's. I think that's more than just it. I think that's a home run. So there's three runs that score, and all of a sudden it is 6 1 for the Expos here in the bottom of the seventh. All right, so we are up six to one now, and Brett Barbary is the batter. They are bringing in Calvin Maduro now, who took the loss in the extra inning game last night. One and two to Barbary, and he struck out swinging. But the Expos get a three-run blast from Charles Johnson, and we are now up six to one. I think I'm gonna pitch one more inning with Oil Can Boyd at this point. 
I mean, I have a five-run lead. I feel pretty good about myself, and it's the bottom of the lineup for them. So I think that makes sense. So West Chamberlain is going to be first, two and one. That's it. Weekly in foul territory. Doran gets it. There's one out. Luis Medina is next. No count on Medina. He's the he's a pinch hitter. He hits it to Barbary, and he's out. Two out. Now, Kevin Stocker is the next batter here, full count, and he hits it to short, and he's out. All right, Phillies go down one, two, three, yet again. All right, so Pat Combs is now the pitcher for the Phillies in the bottom of the eight. Billy Doran is the batter for us. No count to Doran. That's it to center. That's that's well it. That's gonna be extra bases. It went all the way to the wall, and that's a double for Billy Doran to start the eighth inning. It's pretty good. All right, Ray Sanchez is the next batter. No count on Sanchez. It's it weekly to right, right at Guerrero, and there's one out. I'm going to pinch it for Oil Can Boyd. He gave me eight solid innings. Can't complain about that. All right, so I'm going to bring Ruben Rivera as my pinch hitter. Full count to Rivera. And he walks. All right. Now we have runners on first and second with one out. The line of the shields is next. No count on the shields. Oh. All right, so Doran with the stolen base at third, and then Rivera followed to second base. Now we have runners on second and third, which went out. The Shields at bat, full count to the Shields. And he struck out swinging. All right, Marquis with a prime situation here. Full count to Grissom. Oh, he struck out swinging as well. All right, so who am I going to have pitched the ninth inning? Um, let's go with Andorf. All right, so Mickey Marandini is the first batter here. Oh, I should have gone with Kerrigan with two lefties. Ah, it's the 90s. We don't, we don't worry about that too much. It's about to start. It's about to start where we really favor, you know, lefty on lefty and everything. All right, two and one. Oh, that's a it for Rios. All right, so that's a double. All right, Al Martin is next. There's a runner on second now, which went out two and two to Al Martin. And he struck out swinging. All right. I like it. Tom Evans is next. That's the Phillies last out, one and two. Grissom after it, and he catches it. So the Expos get two wins in a row at Olympic Stadium against the Phillies as we win six to one, game two of the series. A really good start by Oil, Oil Can Boyd. Those have sadly been way too far and few between this season. He had a good season last year. He went 14 and 8 last season. It was pretty reliable, but this season has been pretty tough for him. But not today. Really good performance on the mound there. All right. Let's advance one more day. All right, so that's the all-star voting. Ivan Calderon is still the, the leader in left field in the National League. 
and Charles Johnson is still second behind Piazza at catcher. I don't think he's going to catch him. Oh, Pudge. What happened to Pudge Rodriguez? Okay, a strained groin muscle is out for five weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah, Pudge Rodriguez there with pretty nice stats in Texas, hitting for 344, seven home runs, 45 RBIs so far this season. Yeah. Pretty, pretty decent season. Too bad for them. They lost him here for five weeks. That's not like hockey. You know, in hockey, you miss five weeks. I mean, it sucks, but, you know, you're going to miss maybe 15 games. You know, in baseball, you're going to miss a huge chunk of games because you play pretty much every day. All right. Um, yeah, we're doing pretty good here. We are doing pretty good. I like it. A lot better than having our ass ended to us by the Pirates for three games. Alright, so for the last game of the series, we're going to be facing Chris Holt. Uh, doesn't look like Chris Holt uh, has been winning much this season. Uh, he's been having... He's not have, he has not been great, is what I'm trying to say. And we've made grounds here. We're 13 games back. Of course, you know, we're 10 games under 500. We're not doing all that great ourselves, but hey, you know, at least we're winning games right now. All right, when am I getting my rehab guys? Oh, Tomlin is coming back tomorrow. And then Woody Green, I don't know. He's gonna come back maybe later but Tomlin has to come back tomorrow all right that's good to know all right so for the third game we're gonna be sending Carlos Perez Carlos Perez just like um, oil can Boyd has a lot of issues this season his rookie season he, w he went 15 and 10 so he went pretty he had a pretty decent rookie season but it's been pretty tough so far this year definitely the sophomore slump thing going all right so for game three uh, i'm gonna keep that lineup again that just won me a game and we're gonna be facing kevin stalker tom evans al martin luis medina vladimir guerrero mickey marandini mike liberto and west chamberlain so Medina draws in at first for Rios, and Mike Liberto uh, comes in for Darren Fletcher, probably because Liberto probably plays against lefties. That would be my guess. Fletcher is a left-handed bat. All right, so let's see if we can sweep the Phillies for the second time this season. That would be beautiful. Right, and of course, play ball. All right, so Carlos Perez is going to face Kevin Stalker here in the top of the first. Two and two. To Stalker. And that's a it to start the game on two and two. The Phillies get on board with a single that brings up Tom Evans. Two and two to Evans. That's it to third. And that's a double play. All right. Nice play by Barbary and the Shields. And that gets us the double play. So Al Martin is not a batter. And there's nobody on in two outs. Three and oh to Al Martin. And he walks. So the, the Carlos Perez story continues. He has extreme difficulties getting out of in innings clean. Like he's going to get two quick outs and then he's going to start giving up hits left and right and everything. He is struggling to get out. You know, he is struggling to just get a one, two, three inning, basically. 
All right, so Medina is next. Three and one to Medina. Oh, that's a home run. I hate to say it, but at this rate, it might be Carlos Perez that I pull from the starting rotation when Randy Tomlin comes in. Carlos has really struggled. All right, Guerrero is next with two outs now. Three and one to Guerrero. He hits it to right with and after it. And he catches it for the third out. The Phillies get two runs on the board thanks to a blast by Luis Medina. And the Expos are down 2 0 already. All right, so Chris Holt is going to be the pitcher. Delino the Shields is the first one to face him. One and two. That's it to center. Al Martin after it, and he catches it. One out. Marquise Grissom is next. One and oh. It's it weekly. Oh. But that's an infield single for Grissom, who is probably going to go here. One out. Cather on the batter. Two and two. Oh, that's it. And that's extra bases. Calderon with the nice piece of hitting here. And after this game, after each series, I go and I check the leaders and everything because Calderon kind of has a MVP caliber season. So I, I want to kind of keep track of that. So after each series, I go and I, I check where he stands. So we're going to take a look at that after this game. All right, so there's runner runners on second and third with one out for hard hidden Mark Witten now. Two and one. That's it weekly to second. All right, so Witten is out at first, but we do get a run on the play. It is not, We have cut the lead in half. It is now 2-1 for the Phillies, and we have a runner in third with two outs now. Charles Johnson is the batter, one and two. And he struck out swinging. All right, we do, at least we got on the board, and it's, it's still already in the game. I am unsure if there's thunder outside or if it's my neighbor's truck, um, but there's some noise out. I can't really see what's going on there. All right, Mickey Morandini, one and two to Morandini. And that's it weekly. Ray Sanchez, very casual on the play, and there's one out. Mike Liberto is next. Two and one. That's it to right. With and after it. And that's the second out. West Chamberlain is next. Full count. And he struck out swinging. Wow. Carlos Perez did get out of an inning. One, two, three. Awesome. Brett Barbary is the next batter here. Full count to Barbary. Grounds it to short. And he's out. One out. That brings up BD Doran. 1 0 oh to Doran. And that's cut by Al Martin. Two outs now. Ray Sanchez. No count on Sanchez. Oh, he gets drilled. All right, so Sanchez gets to first. Now Carlos Perez is the batter. He can handle a bat, all right. He has two home runs this season. No count to Carlos. And he grounds it to second. They get the lead runner. And we cannot score in this inning. And Chris Oat is the batter now. Oh, he is not a very good hitter. At least not so far this season. Two and two to Chris Holt. Struck out swinging. One out. Kevin Stalker is next. Two and two to Kevin Stalker. Rounds it to third. And he's out. Two outs. Tom Evans is next. Three and one to Tom Evans. And he walks. Alright, so again. 
Perez gets two quick outs and now gives up a, a walk. Adam Martin is next. Two outs. Oh, that's a hit. Falls right in front of Calderon. All right, so on the play, Evans makes it to third base. So now there's runners on first and third with two outs. Luis Medina is the batter, one and two. That's it to second, and he's out. All right, so we didn't get a, give up a run this time. All right, we're going into the bottom of the third with the top of the lineup, the line of the shields, first one to face Chris Holt, three and two. That's it to left. There's one out. Marquise Grissom is next. And that's it to right, and he's out. We're not hitting Oat very well. Ivan Calderon is next, one and one. That's it to center for a hit. All right, Calderon is uh, getting his average uh, to rise a little bit more again. So we get to hit with two outs. Mark Witten is the batter, two and one. Caderon's going, and he's out. Oh, God, Liebertal has a pretty good uh, 11 and 35. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, Vladimir Guerrero is next. Two and oh. Oh, that's going to be an infield single. Yep, didn't even throw. Miki Marandini, the next batter, with a runner on first. No count to Marandini. Tries to bunt, but he misses. There's one strike now. One and two. It's it to third. All right, and we get the we get Marandini at first, but Guerrero gets to second here with one out. Mike Liebertel is the batter. One and oh. And we throw him out at first. Guerrero gets to third on the play, but there's two outs now, so they need a hit from West Chamberlain. No count. Oh, we're gonna walk in. That's fine. Face the pitcher, Chris Holt. Full count. And that's it right at the run at first. And we get out of the inning without allowing another run, which is good, but we need to get our offense going. Mark Witten is going to be the first batter. No count. That's a hit. That's good. All right, so we have a runner on first now with nobody out. Charles Johnson is the batter. One and one. And Witten is going. And he's safe. That's his ninth stolen base this season. Two and two to Charles Johnson. That's it to right, but right at Gary Rowe. So we have one out. Brett Barbary is now the batter. No count. That's it to center. And he's out. That's two outs. Billy Doran is next. No count on Billy Doran. Oh god, that's it really weakly to the pitcher. And he's out. Couldn't get anything going yet again. Despite getting Mark Witten on base really early. All right, so Kevin Stalker is the first batter in the fifth year, two and two. All right, rounds it to first and he's out. One out. Tom Evans is next, full count to Evans. Oh, that's gonna fall. Yep, right behind the shields. Nobody could get to it. That's a single. With Al Martin now, the batter, one and two. Oh, that's it weekly to the catcher. And we got the lead runner at second. I'm kind of surprised by that. All right, so we did get the lead runner. There is still a runner on first, but there's two outs now. Luis Medina is the batter, 1-0. and That's another home run. Yikes. 
So Luis Medina with two two-run blasts in this game. And it is 4-1 for the Phillies. So I think I'm going to have Carlos Perez finish the inning. And that might be it for him today. Right, Guerrero is not... Yeah, he's almost at 100 pitches already and everything. 1-0 to Guerrero. That's it to the pitcher. And he's out. Right, Ray Sanchez, the first batter in the fifth year, two and two. That's it to center. That's gonna fall. Dang. Do I want to? Time to pull the plug on Carlos Perez. All right, so we're gonna bring in Rivera to it. One and zero. Oh. That's it to left, but that's cut by Chamberton. There's one out. We still have a runner on first with Delano the Shields, the batter now. Two and two. Struck out swinging. Grissom is next. No score, no count on Grissom. Oh god, that's it. Weekly to second, and he's out. All right, where our offense is being stifled by a pitcher that's one and seven this season. give a couple innings to Ben Van Ryan. He did all right in his last game out in those extra innings. So let's see if he can do that again. Mickey Morandini is going to be the first batter to face him. 0-1 to Morandini. That's it too short. And he's out. One out. Mike Liberto is next. 0-1 to Liberto. That's it to second. And he's out. Two outs. Two quick outs. West Chamberlain is next, 2 and 1 to Chamberlain. That's a 2 right. With and after it. And he catches it. 1 2 3 inning for Ben Van Ryan. He didn't, he didn't have many of those as a starter. Alright, so that game is not over, but we need to start doing something soon. So Calderon is 2 for 2 in this game. 1 and 0 to him. That's it to third. Yeah, he's going to be out. Oh, no, it's an error. All right, so runner on first. Nobody out. Mark Witten is next. No count. Calderon is going. And he's out. <sighs> Mark Witten with nobody on now. 0-1. Yeah, I might, I might go back to making those decisions on when to steal and everything. Charles Johnson is the next batter with two outs. That's it. Out of here. So Charles Johnson with another blast here. So now it's 4-2. Four 4-2 to the score. Two outs. Brett Barbary is the batter. Two and one. Oh, Barbary. Barbary with the flex here. That's another solo blast. It's now 4 3, so we're back in this game now. Like, it's official. We are back in this game. It is 4 3. And now Billy Doran is next. Are we gonna go uh, back to back to back? No count on Doran. No, unless there's a lot of wind indoors at Olympic Stadium. That's not getting out. All right, but we do score two runs here before the end of the inning on two solo blasts. It is now 4-3, so we are threatening to tie this game. All right, Chris Holt is the batter. I'm keeping Ben Van Ryan in. He had a pretty good inning, 0-2. And, and that looked high to me, but it is a called third strike. 
Okay, when Stalker is next, two and two. That's a two short. And he's out. Two outs. Tom Evans is next, full count. That's it, two left. That's going to be a hit right in front of Calderon. So now we have a runner. Well, the Phillies have a runner on first with two outs. Al Martin is the batter, full count. And he struck out swinging Ben Van Ryan with another pretty decent inning. All right. I think putting him in the bullpen was the right move to, uh, for, for him and for us, for everybody. All right, Ray Sanchez here. One and one. Come on, Ray. It weekly to third. And he's out. All right, so as good as Ben Van Ryan has been, I need a pinch hitter here. Go with Johnny Knott. That's his only purpose now is as a pinch hitter because he cannot play defense. At least not at third base. Alright, full count to Johnny Knott. And that's it to center, but not very deep. Or not deep enough, I should say. Al Martin catches it. There's two outs. The line of the shields is the next batter. Two and two to the shields. That's it to third. And he's out. All right. Who do they have? Medina. Okay. Yeah, Ondorf is a little tired, but uh, I'm gonna trust him. Top of the eight, Luis Medina. No count on Medina. That's it to center. Oh, I thought it was a third home run. Like it, it like right the top of the the fence. So Medina has two home runs and a double in this game. He's been killing us. Vladimir Guerrero is next, three and one. It's a to right. All right. Mickey Marandini is next, and we're gonna walk him. To enact the double play here for Mike Liberto with one out runners on first and second, two and one. To, to third. And that's a double play, folks. We got out of this. And we are still training by just one here in the bottom of the eight. It is 4 3 for the Phillies. And we're going in with some good hitters here. So Marquise Grissom is going to fail. They're keeping Chris Holt in that one. 0 and 1. Hit weekly to first. And he's out. One out. Ivan Calderon is next. 1 and 2 to Calderon. That's a hit for Calderon. So he's 3 for 4 in this game. Now Mark Witten is next. 1 and 0. Oh. That's it to left, but that's right at Chamberlain. Two outs. Charles Johnson is the batter. Two and zero. Oh. That's it to center, and he is out. I think. Yeah, he is. All right, Chamberlain. O and one to Chamberlain. All right, he's out on a grounder to second. Scott Rowland is now the batter, 2-0. And, oh. and he's out, two outs. I'm gonna check something. Yeah, that's what I thought, so Yeah, <laughs> Scott Rowan was drafted by the Phillies, so he gets to start his career with the Phillies like, you know, we did in real life, but that's not because he was already in their system. I, I wasn't sure on the year that Scott Rowan was drafted. I started my save in 1991, so the Phillies actually picked him, and he gets to start his career with the Phillies as he did in real life. 
Alright, Cave and Stalker is now the batter with two outs. Two and two to Cave and Stalker. And he struck out swinging. Alright, so we need a we need a run here. Bottom of the night. We need some heroics. So Mitch Williams is coming for the save. Brett Barbary is gonna be the first batter to face him. Two and two to Barbary. He has a couple hits already this game. And he has another one here. And Barbary gets on first base with a single. That brings up Billy Doran with a runner on first. Nobody out. Oh, and one to Billy. Oh, that's not it very well. Adam Martin gets it. Oh, Barbary gets to second base on the play. So with a hit now, we might be able to... We might be able to tie the game. Man, it's really slim pickings. It's pretty sad when you feel like you have a better chance with Ray Sanchez to do something. One and two. And he struck out swinging. Two outs now. Need a hit. I'm gonna go with Todd Ane. Oh, and two. And he struck out. Oh God! All right, so we lost the third game of the series, four-three against the Phillies. So we need one, two out of three out of them. That's not too bad, but I wanted to win them all. All right, so. Ben Van Ryn with another good outing in relief. So we're going to keep him there. Let's advance this. Oh, they got... they. Oh, crap. That's not good. Robert Andorf was one of my very few... I don't have many right-handers in the bullpen anymore. Especially if Andorf when it was sent down. He was doing so good, too. Um, all right, so the player of the week in the American League was JT Snow with the Yankees. In the National League, it was Luis Medina of the Phillies, of course, with a couple home runs against me that helped it, I would think. And we continue to dive in the power rankings. We are now at 23rd. All right, so I have Randy Tomlin that's now ready to come in. God, do I really want to pull Carlos Perez for Randy Tomlin? Put him for Gabe White and we'll readjust from there, I guess. Oh, is he gonna be able to pitch on his turn? Yeah, maybe. All right, let's take a look at what we have in the going on in the MLB today, or right now. All right, so Calderon is second for batting average in all of the MLB, but it's second to Larry Walker, who is also in the National League. Calderon has 60 RBIs, that's fifth. to see what happens here.
we're gonna need to wait and see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. Next time out, we're gonna be playing against the cards. The cards are almost a 500 team, so they should be a decent challenge for us. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be tough. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here for today. So as usual, I do wanna thank you for tuning in. And if you're watching that on YouTube later, uh, and you've liked the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.